We are Matt and Jessica, a couple of Michiganders who, back in 2012, decided they'd had enough of the rat race and shoved off from more distant horizons in their 34-foot sailboat, Serendipity. Taking on parts of the Caribbean and sailing three-quarters of the way across the Atlantic, we arrived in the Azores only to fall into deep longing for a project boat back in Florida. Temporarily throwing away our plans for the med, we crossed back to Florida to begin a complete overhaul on the boat we just purchased, a 1983 Chisalu, a custom aluminum sailboat. For the past year and a half, we've been slaving away as we live aboard to turn her into our dream boat, making lots of mistakes, but also learning along the way. Join us as we get her ready for her first time in the water in 10 years and eventually sail away to those distant horizons once again. I am coming to you right now from our very hot and sweaty van because until we get our new microphone, which is the next thing on the list to buy as far as like camera gear and video things, um, there's really no place quiet to record. So anyway, um, we did get our decals back in with the transparent background. So one of our big jobs definitely before we splash was to get those on the boat. Before we had ever put the order in for the decals, we had kind of mocked up where we wanted them to be on the boat. We used some blue painter's tape to mark the width of what we thought would look best on the boat and what would be most um, legible for people seeing it from a distance. Of course, keeping the lettering five inches high to be uh, Coast Guard approved. So once we put those and we had an idea of where everything was going to go on the boat, the name on each side near the stern and the decals near the bow, on each side. Then the process after that was just kind of eyeing where we wanted it to sit. We wanted it to follow the water line more than where the tow rail is, so we would just kind of hang it and tape it, um, stand back 100 feet, 200 feet, and just kind of see how it looked there. See how the name looks on there so far. See if we can get it straight on just by eyeing it. Of course, you don't know what the name is yet. Oh. Oh. Whoops. And down she goes. And down she goes. Hopefully it's not a sign of things jump. <laughs> and then once we did decide where we wanted it to go, I just took a pencil and marked the general area um, because Matt was going to have to go through and sand the hole once more in that spot, just kind of clean it up and then we took some acetone to degrease it and remove all debris before we could actually apply the decals directly to the metal hull, which you can tell by now is not gonna get painted, it's just gonna stay the bare aluminum. So what is it you're doing to get it ready for the vinyl? Degreasing right now, okay. and then I'll sand with the uh, 80 grit. Cool. And hopefully it'll stick just fine. <laughs> we At really least a little while. Yeah. So we can see how much we like the lime green and if it can stay or if it needs to go next yeah, year. Yeah, it may not be there permanently. <laughs> So our decals have once again come back with the transparent background that we didn't get last time. Unfortunately, they once again cut them in single blocks. There's actually going to be four of these. Uh, what we originally had asked for, or the image we uploaded, was all four images in one row. Um, so now we have to use our calipers and try and measure the distance from circle to circle, top to bottom. So it's going to make it a little bit tougher for us and also because the company we're using um, to have the transparent background they only had a certain number of colors to choose from the colors that we're using for our symbols aren't exactly what we wanted they're, they're not what our graphic designer uploaded which we really liked um, so we kind of had to make some sacrifices and compromises but we're hoping that everything will still come out nice so we're going to try and get these all lined up and peeled off right now The decals at the front were a little bit harder to apply than we had originally thought as well because when we had uploaded the image we um, thought they knew that we wanted it to all come on one piece instead of individually cut. So then it, we, still following the water line, just measured up the distance that we wanted from the water line and marked it with a piece of tape so that wasn't too bad. We were able to find out 
where we wanted the bottom to be and uh, just applied the first one on there. And from each point going further aft, we would keep the same distance from the tape we put at the bottom and then we used our calipers to measure one inch between the circles and just slowly worked our way back putting one decal on um, measuring and then going on to the next until they were all on. You're your best fan of white. You gotta be out of the way. But then I can't feel it. I know. <laughs> that is bright green. Bright green. Elements of Life. That is the new boat name. Um, I know a lot of you were thinking Phoenix and I hope you're not disappointed that we actually did not name our boat Phoenix because it is rising out of the ashes of the destruction that it used to be. I actually really like the name and the name Phoenix? Yeah, yeah. It is it is kind of a cool yeah. name. Um, but we've had Had we pulled you guys uh, two, years, two ago, years ago, then it would have been different. But now the title Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna change it again. No, no. It's like two hundred bucks to do it through a Coast Guard <laughs> or hundred dollars or whatever it is. Yeah. I'm not paying that. So it is what it is. Unless we feel like having another renaming ceremony in like two years, no, but that's, no, probably that's not bad luck, I'm sure. Um we have had this name in mind for eight, nine years for a boat name. It's actually from an album from DJ Tiesto that came out in maybe 2004 or 2005. Somewhere around there. That's how hip and cool we actually are. It's, yep. <laughs> we're a little old. And uh, we've always liked Tiesto and the name kind of stuck with us. So when we got our first boat, The Hunter, which was unnamed, we thought, wouldn't this be a cool name, but we're going to save it. And then we had Serendipity and the name was good enough. Yep. And we didn't want to go through the process of changing. So we're like, okay, next boat. Yeah, yeah. It was easier just with the old boat just to send the paperwork through with serendipity on it. This boat um, hadn't been Coast Guard registered at all or documented at all. So it was from... Uh, the Channel Islands. The Channel Islands before. So we had to go through that whole process anyway. So it was easy enough to change the name now. And we thought it was fitting for this boat just because of our lifestyle. You really live through kind of the four elements, maybe not so much fire. But you have the combustion of the engine, <laughs> the diesel go. engine, there's fire there. You've there's... got the water, yeah. the wind, and earth, which you know you're going to and from, but it still fits. So, um, oh, but I never. Um, so, for the Tiesto album, there is actually a song named Elements of Life if you want to hear it for from an album. Elements of Life. Oh, it, my bachelor party was at a Tiesto concert in 2004 so uh, in Toronto. Big, so he's a big influence in us. <laughs> especially at that time, those formative years for our relationship. So here's the song, Elements of Life. <laughs> Picture us with glow sticks. Whistles. It gets yeah. more upbeat, but um, I don't think you'd be interested in that. We don't think you like techno as much as we do. <laughs> um, so, elements of life, um, and stay tuned for the renaming ceremony.
There you go. So we just put the new uh, decals on the boat today, and even though we're not in the water, we're going to do the renaming ceremony anyway. But it's okay because I put a dish of water below us, so we're going to pretend. <laughs> Lame. So, so I have dressed up in some of my fancy scarf, my $7 dress from a secondhand outlet. Very nice. And this is as dressed up as I could get, Matt. Yep. So. Um, but we now have a speech prepared for the renaming ceremony as love bugs are flying all over me. And I hope I get this right because the only time I have gone over it is to, in fact, write it down right now. So here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm paying 100% attention. So, just drink your beer. <laughs> yeah. There will be champagne in a minute. Okay. In the name of all who have sailed aboard this yacht in the past, and in the name of all who may sail aboard her in the future, we invoke the ancient gods of the wind and the sea to favor us with their blessing today. And mighty Aeolus, I think I got that right, guardian of the winds and all that blows before them, we offer you our thanks for the protection you have afforded this vessel in the past, even though she carried drugs. <laughs> we voice over our gratitude that she has always found shelter from tempest and storm and enjoyed safe passage to port. Now, wherefore, we submit this application, we submit this supplication, <laughs> that the name whereby this vessel has hitherto been known, days off, be struck and removed from your records. She's doing it in like a Jack Sparrow voice. Well, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> you are more than No, 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 that's right. <laughs> Further, we ask that when this vessel is again presented for blessing with another name, which is right now, she shall be recognized and she shall be accorded once again the, sa the self-same privileges she previously enjoyed. In return for which we rededicate this vessel to thy domain in full knowledge that she shall be subject to the immutable laws of the gods and the winds at sea. In consequence whereof, and in good faith, we seal this pact with a libation offered according to the hallowed ritual of the sea. I hereby rename you Elements of Life. Now let's pop the champagne and pour some out for our homies. Matt? Where did you get this? Aldi. No, no, the... Speech. Speech. Someone left it for me on Facebook. Thank you. Oh. Well, that's very nice. One. Ooh. It's a screw, screw off. off. <laughs> Maybe. If you're strong enough. Pop. Ooh. And now I pour it out to the guys of the wind and the sea. Let's see if I can make it in my water bowl. Not even close. Oh, oh, oh there, we go. there we go. They hit water. Appease the gods. That's time to drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's love bugs on my cup. I, I tried it. It's good. Okay. Did you? Yeah, it didn't go bad. Your love of champagne is so funny. Yes. <laughs> And cheers. Cheers. Elements of life. There's bugs floating in mine. <laughs> ah. So overall we were really happy with the decals. Um, a little bit disappointed that we didn't get the color choice we wanted based on the, I don't know, 16 to 20 colors they offered of the vinyl they had in stock. It wasn't necessarily um, what we had in mind, what our graphic designer picked out as we had mentioned. And it was hard to tell how things were going to contrast off of the metal hull. I think the fire, the orange looks really cool. The tan for the wind, we maybe should have done in gold or something that stands out a little bit more. Um, and then the blue, maybe gone with the lighter blue, but um, you know, as it stands, we're still really happy with how it looks. But a very big shout out to James Amaya who designed our logo there. We put out a call on Facebook for any graphic designers that were willing to help us out and within just a day or two he was already sending us um, kind of just the general thing that we requested but just really wowed us with what he sent over. So again, James, thank you so much. And also a big shout out to Robert and Angel Shaver who have submitted graphics as well. You should be seeing them in our swag um, on t-shirts and mugs in addition to the logo that is on our boat. So hopefully we'll have the shop up soon that you can pick things off of there and our patrons will start getting all of their goodies soon. 
So that's at least one more thing off the list and about a million other things to do before we go in the water. So what else have I been up to this week other than uh, putting on the decals here? Should be no big surprise that I am still sanding and painting. Um, but don't worry, I'm not going to show you any scenes of me doing that because nobody wants to see that anymore, I am sure. So my mornings now mostly have been sanding whatever I painted the night before. Um, and then after that, I try and work inside, maybe take a nap just because it has been getting so hot here in South Florida. And then in the evening, I try and paint the next coat. So I will show you the things that I have been working on lately that have to go on the boat before we can go in the water. Over here, you can see where I've kind of been setting everything up. Uh, these two long poles, if you remember from a previous video, uh, that is going to be our tiller. This is the part that sits on the deck and extends out probably about three feet. And then this long pole next to it is the extension. So I've got my first coat of all grip on there. And then over here, I've got a couple more pieces set up, which are going to be for the propane locker. This is where it sits. And then back there is the door. So I was able to get my first coat of all grip on these today, but then I still have to go through basically the whole process on the back side here. I've only gotten as far as a prime coat. So I still have to do the all grip five, four, five, and then a couple coats of all grip there. And then lastly, on um, these down here are going to be blocks for our clutches. They're fiberglass, basically brick smack cutout that I am now painting. So they're at the stage of primer right now. And soon um, I'll be able to start putting all grip. But again, that's going to be a process of having to do one side and then let it fully dry. And on the next day, do the other side. So those will take a little bit longer. Um, but again, can never escape this sanding and painting. I'm actually kind of looking forward to sewing once we get on the water. So next week, this is where we should be bringing our episode to you from. We have our day in the books and there's just a few more things to do in the workyard, finishing them up. And then we will be finally sitting here in the water. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to go right away. There's still some projects to make ourselves um, self-sufficient where we can be at anchor, be away from bathrooms, be away from power, but at least we'll be on the water. So uh, stay tuned for next week when our boat finally launches after two years in the workyard.